Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to speak about some specific longevity molecules that people don't speak about. You rarely hear of these molecules. A very interesting, interesting study that came out in February 2022 from China. Mice fed with ex extracts of a sea creature called a sea squirt because when you pull it out the water, it squirts water. That's why they call it this. It reversed some signs of the aging process. Okay, these extracts are called plasmologins. They're like the types of fat found in human body cells, <clears throat> such as those you find in the brain. They found in the brain, kidneys, <clears throat> lungs, and muscles, muscle tissues. They function in various ways, such as regulating cell signaling, protecting cells from DNA damage, and reducing inflammation. Very, I never heard of these plasmologins. Plasmalogen levels in the blood decline with age, especially in people with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is dangerous. When you get to a certain age, I mean, it destroys all the people. Okay? Here's a quick breakdown <clears throat> of what, what plasmalogens are and what they accomplished in this study but when they used them. Plasmalogen levels have been found to be altered in various ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in very, uh, degenerative degenerative and metabolic Ill illnesses and aging, okay? Plasmologic content increases steadily in humans until they reach around the age of 40, after which it tends to level off. Then it starts dropping. By the age of 70, plasmologic content begins to decline dramatically. Okay, for example, there's like a 40% decrease in plasmologic in the serum of individuals more than 70 years old compared to younger individuals. Plasmalogens have been shown to be abundant in both marine and land species meat. Interesting meat. Okay, they found in like shark liver, krill, mussels, sea squirt, and scallops. And especially pork, beef, and chicken. So much for meat not being good for you. Plasmalogen levels in livestock and poultry are even higher almost like two to 50 fold, depending on the exact comparison, than fish and mollusks. In this latest study that I'm speaking of here, researchers used plasmalogens in middle-aged female mice by giving them about 300 to 500 times more than what you would find in a serving of chicken or beef. They then tested the mice's memory and specific key brain characteristics that change with age. Okay. The number of neural stem cells, which form new, new neurons, neurons are brain cells, and the number of connections between neurons were evaluated. I think that's the synapses. Both are necessary for sustaining one's ability to learn, remember, and to reason. Okay? Inflammation rises with age and is a significant factor in the progression of Alzheimer's disease symptoms. They discovered, in this study, they discovered that feeding plasmalogens to mice for two months enhanced these measures. Interesting. <clears throat> Inflammation was also significantly reduced in the plasmalogen treated mice compared to the control group. Okay? The, the mice's memory was also boosted according to the study. They employed what's called a Morris water maze test where they swim around, they have to go through this maze, which involves using sensory skills, uh, like a good eyesight, to learn how to perform a task. Unfortunately, mice lose sensory skills, like blindness and hearing, as they become older. So these findings should be interpreted with caution. The memory improvement may be due to a better sensory skill instead of memory. So they're not really 100% sure on this. However, However, a prize study in which human participants with mild cognitive impairment were fed plasmalogens, which they got from scallops in this human study, twice a day for 24 weeks, support these findings in this present study. Plasmalogen boosted memory in those who received them. This improvement, however, was only seen in a subset of patients who were female and under the age of 77. 
it's un- to the scientists, it's unclear why it only worked for this subset of people, and it has to be investigated further with a considerable a considerable number of participants or people. Now, here's the question, another question. Are plasmalogens geroprotectors? I will explain what geroprotectors are. Okay. Although these findings in this study are intriguing, additional research is needed to determine whether plasmalogens are true geroprotectors. These are like medications or, or supplements that slow cellular aging and lower the chance of acquiring a variety of age-related diseases. It's critical to figure out how plasmalogens slow down the aging process and whether their effect extends beyond, beyond the brain and other essential organs like the heart, muscle, and the immune system. Okay. In animals, over 200 geroprotectors have been tested. Okay. I have provided a link in the description to the complete list of geroprotectors available today. Okay. They have been shown in many studies to increase the function of vital organs. In experimental animals, a few of these have been found to delay the onset and severity of age-related chronic diseases such as osteoarthritis, heart disease, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's disease. The next step is to test these medications in people. Uh, and supplements. However, this is a problematic due to how drugs are examined and licensed for usage. Okay. This is the most common in those this is most common in those diagnosed with a specific condition. On the other hand, these supplements or medication are more likely to provide the best benefits for prevention of age related diseases. So Prophylactic. They have to be taken before so you prevent the disease. They may even be able to prevent multiple diseases at the same time. Okay? To put them to the test, scientists must first determine who is at risk of acquiring one or more age-related diseases and then conduct a lengthy and costly study to determine who gets the disease and who is protected. This is not easy. Okay? To cut down on the testing time, scientists are working strategies to predict who may get specific age-related diseases ahead of time and this is also not easy okay if, even if these studies are successful whether or not utilize, utilizing zero protectors to prevent illnesses is cost-effective and safe remains unanswered other approaches such as a healthier lifestyle healthier diet and more exercise could be just as good even better okay so i'm sticking to that for now have a great day i hope you enjoyed this latest longevity news and see you in my next video have a wonderful day